Rockin' H Woodshop is sponsored by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. And by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Now using a plan from a prior prototype, we're just gonna cut some pieces down to size. Now the piece I'm going to cut off here will be for the top. And this will be the back. Now we just have to cut the two sides. And lastly the bottom. Okay, now what, what I've got set up here is the front and the back and the sides. Now in order for the sides to meet up with the front and back, I have to cut an angle from one to the other and as you can see, they are different heights. So we're gonna make a mark right here at the top of the bottom, or the back I should say. And then we're just gonna meet it at that corner using a straight edge. All right, with my uh, miter gauge set up with a stop block, if your gauge does not have a stop block, you can just easily use a clamp like I have because this uh, stop block over here won't come over far enough to be able to hold this down. So since I wanna make repeatability cuts, I'll go ahead and set up the stop block and I can easily cut this at a 15 degree angle. Now we need to make some uh, little dowel cutoffs that are 3 8 of an inch in diameter, 5 8 of an inch long. And I set up a stop block here so whenever I go to run it through the blade, it doesn't get pinched between the fence and the blade and shoot back at me. So just set you up a stop block with a clamp with the remainder distance at 5 8 of an inch. And the same thing goes for these quarter inch dowels, only they're going to be 1 and 3 quarter inches long. Now I also need two sticks of the quarter inch that are four inches long for the bottom. Now I have to admit this is not my design. My dad actually made these a long time ago whenever I was a kid and he had the forethought to make a whole bunch of jigs to help him locate where all these dowels that we cut right here uh, have to go. So if you ever plan on making a whole bunch of these, especially for craft shows, I suggest making you these jigs that can help you with repeatability. Now to make this thing functional, you gotta glue a mouse trap in. And the trick I found with these is you need to find a mouse trap that has an extra wide face on it instead of the little bitty ones like something like this. This is on my prototype. Because if a coin drops in here, sometimes it can miss. So I suggest getting something like this one that has that big space right there for the coin to easily land on. All right, now what I've done here is just made a couple holes in the top here so the coin can actually go through. We'll just finish it out on the scroll saw. These dowels go right over the spring, otherwise it won't work at all. and then the money slot goes over the platform. And then the dowels hold everything together. If any of you guys are looking for a great gag gift or a dirty Santa gift for somebody, this will certainly fit the bill. It's quick and easy to make. It just takes a mousetrap from the store and a few scraps of quarter inch plywood. I painted mine, but you can choose to leave it uh, plain just like I've done my prototype here. So guys, thank you for watching. Be sure and check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. 
Be sure and check out my website very soon. It will be revamped in the next couple of weeks. Also, don't forget I have t-shirts and hats for sale. You can email me those uh, requests for now and I can tell you about how to go about getting them. Uh, also, one thing I wanted to give you guys a heads up on is that Rockler, my, one of my sponsors, has been gracious enough to give me a promo code to offer to my viewers. Right now, they are offering free shipping for anybody that uses the promo code RHWOOD. Just plug that in on your checkout and you'll get free shipping for your order. So guys, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.